75% of the commercial network television time is paid for by the 100 largest corporations in North America. Some corporations have television budgets that range into the billions per year. Television producers compromise and end up mitigating their desires for those of the advertisers. Thus television is effectively a private medium for their use only. The longer a person watches television, the more easily the brain slips into alpha level, a slow, steady brainwave pattern in which the mind is in its most receptive mode. Images and suggestions are implanted directly into the mind without viewer participation. An effective hypnosis is induced, and the viewer surrenders to the unending television image stream. Images of television violence stimulate the fight-or-flight instinct. But since it would be absurd to react to television violence, the viewer suppresses the emotion. Viewers are drawn back and forth on cycles of impulse and suppression. When the set goes off, this stored-up energy bursts forth in frantic behavior commonly associated with childhood hyperactivity. Television imagery is jammed together in a steady stream of information, fracturing your attention while condensing and accelerating time. These events would not happen in ordinary life. They are technical alterations only possible within the moving image media. Living in the rapid world of television imagery, ordinary life is dull by comparison, and often far too slow. People who immersed in the surrogate reality of television life deal on a daily basis with a reality totally unlike any that has preceded it. The image stream is a steady, mixed-up stream of real, unreal, and semi-real events. All of these events end up merging with each other and becoming just another set of stored imagery that have all similar reality values. <laughs> 